Hello everyone, this is Genuine Polish, and in this video I'm going to be covering two conventional ways to make natural tiles and two unconventional ways, one of which is the best way to make natural tiles in my opinion, and I only learned about it today, so I'm going to share that with you. Most people know this one, it's deconstruct the airlock, so all you need for this is a manual airlock. You can use a mechanized airlock too, but it does. there's no reason to use the extra material. All you need to do is surround those airlocks with seven tiles, and then it'll generate 200 kilograms of the material that you use to build the airlock. So that's method number one. Most people know that one. I recommend using the horizontal airlock so that you can continue placing them adjacent to each other without having to build a whole new tile configurations. And this is really useful for using pit planning. All right, and so for method two, it's turning algae or dirt into sand. So if you look at dirt, the melting point is 620 and the algae's melting point is 257. So obviously it's a lot easier to do this with algae, but if you just have your piping set up correctly and you're sending a big enough packet of glass to these tiles, you can make sand out of either. So you wanna put the minimum amount of this material on a tile that you can. All right, and the easiest way to, to do that is by selecting one kilogram on a storage bin, loading it up, pausing it, and then deconstructing the storage bin. So you can do this with dirt or algae. Option number three is a less known and potentially better depending on whether or not you have access to algae. So we have a Primo Guard here. Its melting point is 530, which is less than dirt. And it's only seven kilograms. So you can actually drop molten glass onto any kind of clothing and it'll melt and become refined carbon. So that'll give you a seven kilogram block of refined carbon, which can be used like any natural tile. And then algae becomes dirt and dirt becomes sand. So that's method two and three. And then the last method is incredible. I never heard about it until just recently. So you are gonna need a glass refinery or a pump with molten metal. So you are gonna need a glass refinery or a pump that is in a body of molten metal, which is a little more difficult to set up. So you're gonna need a glass forge and then a liquid valve. And I would recommend throttling it to one gram per second because you really just want to maximize the amount of glass you're putting through this. And so you will need a duplicate with the plumbing perk. And from then what you're going to do is you're simply going to empty the pipes that you want tiles to be generated on. And as soon as he empties the pipe, which you should do almost instantly because it's such a small packet of water, you want to cancel so he doesn't keep unloading glass onto the same tile. And using this, you can make so many adjacent tiles, natural tiles, in such a small amount of time. And it uses almost nothing. You can look at these, these are all 1,000 milligrams of glass. You might be thinking glass is too hard. Well, surprisingly, it isn't. Glass actually has a hardness of 10, so pips can plant in it. The only issue really is that you can't reclaim these insulated pipes because when you deconstruct them, it'll result in a buried object beneath the glass. So it does cost you the cost of the pipe. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I hope this glass trick was new for you. It's new for me, and it's going to save me so much time instead of having to build a whole bunch of manual airlocks and delete them. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe and comment down below and hit the like button. Everything helps. Thanks for watching, guys.